Thyroid surgery is often performed to remove a nodule suspicious for cancer. The operation is performed with the patient under general anesthesia and an incision is made in the low neck. Muscles overlying the thyroid gland are retracted to the sides, and the thyroid gland is revealed. Careful dissection allows one side of the thyroid gland to be lifted up and away from the parathyroid glands, and the main nerve to the vocal cord known as the recurrent laryngeal nerve. These structures are anatomically in contact with the thyroid gland and therefore at risk of injury. Surgery may involve removing one half of the thyroid gland, or if necessary, the same process may be performed on the opposite side resulting in complete removal of the entire thyroid gland. While we normally have four parathyroid glands, it is not unusual for one or more to be non-functional after surgery, or removed with the thyroid gland because of their small size, small blood supply, and variable locations. Fortunately, we need only half of one parathyroid gland to maintain normal parathyroid function. If none of the parathyroid glands are working after surgery, which may be temporary or even permanent, then blood calcium levels can run low unless treated medically. Also, if the recurrent laryngeal nerve is not working after surgery, it may result in a temporary or permanent hoarseness. Vocal improvement may resolve with time, but if not, a procedure can be performed to improve the voice. Once the thyroidectomy is complete, the surgeon will return the strap muscles to their normal position, and possibly place a temporary drain to remove any fluid that otherwise might collect under the skin. Occasionally, thyroid cancer treatment may require removal of lymph nodes in the neck, which may be performed at the same time as thyroid surgery or separately if need be. 